What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and today I'm bringing you guys a vlog where basically what I'm going to be talking about is the new Forza 5 car pack, the new Forza 5 IGN car pack. Now the trailer for this was recently uh, released and it was a really cool trailer, it's got some really cool cars in it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the entire car list and give you guys some of my opinions and I also would love to hear uh, what you guys actually think of the car pack in the comment section below but we can get to that later. Now, the first car that we're uh, that we're taking a look at is the 2013 Caterham Superlight R500. Now, the Caterham Superlight is a car that has been around for a really long time, and quite frankly, it's about time it was in Forza. I mean, it, I've been wanting to, to drive a Caterham in Forza for a really long time, and it's going to be fun. It's going to be really, really fun. And I'm really excited to race it online and circuit race it online. It's going to be really fun, no doubt about that. And also because of the fact that it's an open top, is going to make it another one of the very few open top cars in Forza, which is going to be really, really fun to use and drive. It's just going to make it a really nice experience uh, of a car to use. Now the next car is the 1961 Maserati Tipo 61 Birdcage. Now the Birdcage, I don't believe it's been in another Forza game before I, I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure that it hasn't been uh, in a Forza game before it's a really cool looking car it's got a very retro uh, style look to it very retro racer style look um, definitely want to explore that car in Forza Vista I think it'll be a really cool car to uh, explore in Forza Vista and I don't really race the classic cars all that much but this one I don't know this one might actually change my uh, change my mind and make me race um start racing classic cars a little bit more because it's a really cool looking car and i would like to drive it and you know just kind of see how it does it might be uh it might be really tail happy like a lot of the other cars from that era are which uh will only add to the fun factor now the also the next car the 2013 mercedes a45 amg now the a45 amg is a little beast uh it is a really cool little car really cool a uh, little all-wheel drive hatchback. Um, it's I'm I'm predicting that this thing is going to be a really really good car, uh, really good all-round circuit car. Uh, most likely going to challenge the Evos and the WRXs uh, as far as the online lobbies go, and hopefully outperform them completely because I would love to see this thing just completely demolish them. And it's going to be hopefully um, a really fun car to tune as well. And obviously there's going to be drivetrain swaps for it, so you can also make it into a nice little drift car if you want to. But I'm personally going to leave it all-wheel drive and try and make it a circuit monster. And there will definitely be a build on that for you guys. I will definitely be doing some online racing videos in the A45 AMG when the pack comes out. Now, um, onto a car that has been in the game before, uh, or in the series before I should say. And it is the 1977 Ford Escort RS1800. Now the RS1800 is obviously a classic but um, but here's what you got to remember. It's been in the Forza series before, and you got to wonder if it's recycled. Um, if it's not re well, obviously it's recycled. But you got to wonder if it was already if it was already done before they you know before they released the game, and, and if and if it, this is the same kind of model they're using um, that they used back in Horizon with how they would just kind of roll out Forza Four cars over time. But, um, wow, Facebook just went off. Hope you guys didn't hear that. <laughs> Hope you guys didn't hear that and don't have to go check your Facebooks. But, back to what we were talking about. Um, the whole deal uh, with this is, is you want, it's hard to form an opinion on this because obviously it takes a while to, to, to make these cars into what they are. But also, you got to think, could they have put these on the disc? So, on the next car as well, has also been in the series before, the 1964 uh, Impala SS409. Now, I do believe that this has been, in fact, don't quote me on that. I don't know if this is the exact version has been in the game before. I know there's been a, a, um, a 60s Impala in the game before, but I don't know if it's been this exact version. And it might have been, uh, it might not have been. I didn't drive this all that much, so I don't really, uh, I don't really know. But, I mean, it's a really cool looking car. It's huge. Um, it's a huge like boat of a car, but it's also going to be really fun uh, for drifting, really fun for uh, drift lobbies, really fun for drift tuning, um, and you can you know slam that suspension all the way. So it's going to be a really cool looking car, um, aesthetic wise and hopefully drifting wise as well. Now the 2002 Ferrari uh, 575M Marinello 
is uh, another really cool Ferrari, which is very, very, um, very, very similar, actually, in a lot of ways to the Corvette Z06. Now, I mean, uh, some of you might be saying, what? That's not a, you know, fair comparison, but actually, um, they're actually very, very similar in performance, and it's going to be an interesting car. It's definitely going to be an interesting car, and I, I'm really excited to drive it, actually. Now, the, uh, the 08 Lamborghini Reventon, another, uh, recycled car, um, but hopefully, you know, we'll have to see if, if, you know, these recycled cars are worth it. I mean, if they put a ton of detail into them and they, like, just completely overhaul the detail, then, you know, maybe they'll be worth it. But, you know, we'll have to wait and see. Um, and obviously I have the season pass, so I'll be, I will be able to test all these cars out for you guys and give you my opinions on whether or not you should actually drop the money on the pack or not. Now, the Reventon itself, though, really cool car, and I definitely want to explore that thing in uh, Forza Vista. Now, also, the 57 uh, 250 California, Ferrari 250 California, is a really, really cool car with a lot of history, and is most likely going to be one of the most expensive cars in the game. But, if I can manage to get enough credits, I would love to do a drift build of it. Love to do a drift build of that car. And, uh, I actually, no, I was about to say this is the last car on the list, but it is not, actually. The 1969 Fair Lady Z 432, um, really excited about this car, always loved the Fair Lady Z, but it really should have been in the game from the start. It really, really should have been in the game from the start, and there's no reason why, in my mind, there's no reason why they couldn't have put that in from the start. So, on to the next one now, the, uh, 1984 Peugeot 205 T16. Now... I never really used the Peugeots all that much, however, however, the 205 T16 is actually a pretty formidable car, and I might actually give it a shot as far as circuit racing and online racing goes, because it's a pretty formidable car, and again, I like to, I like to kind of test, test out cars that I otherwise might not try, and this looks like it might be a really interesting car to give a, you know, to really try, to try out and just kind of give it a shot to see if, you know, to see if I actually like it or not, and to see if it's something that, you know, something that I might actually want, uh, want to use online. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a like, tell me in the comment section below what you thought of it, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you guys later.